Many thanks to Nerv, Jerb, Skillspeeder Gaming, Jaren, Daisy Podcast, and Taggy's Tag West for making this video possible. From the beginning of time, the badass free of blasting fools while one-handing a sword off hasn't lost its cool. But when it comes to Daisy, the realism of removing your weapon's warranty with your granddad's rusty hacksaw comes at a cost that may well get you killed. So in this video, we're going to look at that cost to see if any weapon is actually worth slicing in half. The three weapons you can slice in half are the BK-18, BK-43 double barrel and the Mosin. In sawing one of these weapons in half, eight weapon stats are positively or negatively affected. Those eight stats are effective range, sway, recoil, dispersion, zeroing distance, the weight of the weapon, the length of the weapon and the size in slots of the weapon. Let's start by looking at the BK-18 versus the sword of BK-18. The effective range of the BK-18 sits at a respectable 300 meters, but sawing it in half reduces it to just 25 meters, meaning it loses a monstrous 91% of its accuracy. This is due to the dispersion of the sword off being 80 times that of the regular 80, hence why I missed this shot at this distance, but it's definitely not to do with my aim. Another drawback to soaring off weapons in Daisy is the recoil. All three of these weapons in this video get a recoil increase of 100%, so double the amount of recoil, probably due to the weight loss when you saw it off. However, there are benefits to soaring off weapons. With the BK-18, for example, most notably is the sway pattern. It gets reduced by 63% compared to the regular version. Another benefit to sawing your weapon in half is the length of the weapon, which in patch 1.10 now reduces the distance at which your weapon raises a drastic amount. In this case, it's a reduction of 65%, and if you didn't know, length isn't the length of the weapon, but it's the distance from the center of your player to the end of your muzzle, hence why this gun goes into the wall. One stat I was expecting more from is weight, a reduction of only 12.5% for this weapon. The final stat, Size, which doesn't play much of a role in Daisy as it used to, making it one of the weakest beneficial stats for weapons, but a 63% reduction can't be ignored. Now technically, sword off weapons also lose attachment stats because the BK-18 loses the ability to attach the improvised suppressor and guinea gun wrap when it's sword off, meaning the sword off has no attachments. Looking at just the BK-18, the stats we lose versus the stats we gain from soaring off certainly isn't worth the durability damage your hacksaw will take when soaring off this weapon. Not to mention you make one of the worst weapons in this game even worse somehow. Now if you've watched this video and you've taken in all the information I've given you and you still decide to soar off anyway, you've chosen to play Daisy on hard mode. Respect. Moving on to the BK-43 or the double barrel shotgun, it was greatly improved in 1.09 and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you watching now have this weapon as a favourite, it certainly is one of mine. Soaring it off has the same effect on dispersion as it does with the BK-18, a reduction of 76% for buckshot and 68% for slugs, even though the difference in dispersion is the same at 80 times. Recoil again is twice the amount when sawed off, just like all the other weapons that can be sawed off in DayZ, and the sway reduction is roughly the same at 61%. In fact, the other beneficial stats are similar to the BK-18, but the sawed off version of the double barrel gets to keep the ghillie gun wrap. Not that the ghillie gun wrap is any good, because it weighs more than a truck. Let's move on to the interesting one, the Sword of Mosin, and let me start by pointing out the differences in attachments. These are the attachments of the regular Mosin, and this lonely attachment is the remaining attachment once you saw off the Mosin, the powerful PU scope. Now given that the other Sword of weapons lose a lot of effective range when it comes to cutting it in half, the Mosin surprisingly does not, at least when it comes to the PU scope attached. From my test, the reduction in effective range is high without the PU scope, 75%, but with the PU scope, that becomes a 60% reduction instead. However, this 60% reduction is still nearly 400 meters because the effective range of the Mosin is 960 meters with the PU scope when it's not sawn off. When it is sawn off, 400 meters. You can get a kill with a sawed off weapon at 400 meters effectively. Primarily because the dispersion differences between the two is only three times greater than the Mosin instead of 80 times like the other sawn off weapons we've seen. Now if you combine these numbers with the fact that you get 72% less sway when you saw off a Mosin, you have a Longhorn. A Longhorn that can carry 5 rounds, can zero up to 1300 meters, is shorter than most pistols, has nearly the same minuscule sway as a pistol, and can one-shot players effectively at anywhere under 400 meters. The sword off Mosin, to my surprise, 
is actually a really good sidearm. I can imagine myself running with an assault rifle or some sort of SMG and you can have this as a sidearm that you can pull out to kill players at under 400 meters effectively. It's a longhorn but it's better, very cool. On the other hand, when it comes to sawn off weapons, the BK-18 and double barrels certainly are not worth sawing off with how much range you lose. The other stats just aren't worth it. In other news, after months of building, the Woibo website is now online and you can visit it using the link below. It's a website dedicated to helping people understand how game mechanics work using interactive tools. This is where I got all my weapon info from for this video and I'm sure you can learn a lot there too. Another announcement, I'm going to be spending Christmas with my family and I won't be anywhere near my computer for two weeks which means no videos or streams for two weeks. I've been seriously neglecting my friends and family to get this website up and running and I believe it's time I made it up to them. However, if you do need to contact me, I will still be on Discord from time to time. I'm very excited for the future of Wobo, especially with the release of this website. I hope you are too. Have a great holiday season and I'll see you in January.